There may be no more endearing member of Bethany Covenant than the person we came to know and call Grandma Eva. Eva Collinson joined Bethany in 1949 and served as church secretary for much of the 1950s. Eva's lasting legacy, though, will be her love and caring warmth for children. A longtime teacher at Washington Elementary School in West Mount Vernon, Eva used her teaching gifts at Bethany to teach kids for Christ. Generation after generation of children at Bethany Covenant have come to know God's Word in Sunday school, and many of them were introduced to biblical truths in the welcoming classroom of Eva. Eva brought those familiar Bible stories to life with flannel graph scenes and characters made of felt, which were a popular storytelling method of that day. The flannel board stories had a magical way of engaging children, and Eva drove the point of the story home with her dynamic teaching flair. After retiring from teaching, Eva would transition to the care of infants and toddlers in the nursery. It was during this phase that she became known as Grandma Eva, continuing to serve in this capacity even in the years just before she passed away. Families chose Bethany as their home in part because of her trustworthy care of their young ones. Grandma Eva blessed the lives of many in our congregation with her humble service to the God she knew so well. Willard Hansen was a man of action. You wanted something done? Appoint Willard as chairman of the committee. Willard and his wife, Helen, began attending Bethany in the 1940s. Willard moved from Ellensburg to Mount Vernon to teach agriculture at Mount Vernon High School. He would later teach agriculture at Skagit Valley College and own a farm supply store west of town. The Hansons worked together for years with Bethany's junior high group, then known as Junior League. Even in his senior years, Willard continued to be a strong advocate for youth ministry. Willard also served for many years as Sunday school superintendent. The area of church leadership he will probably be most remembered for was in the area of finance. Willard was a longtime chairman of the Stewardship Committee. Fiscally conservative, Willard always strived to keep the church out of debt. After Helen passed away, Willard married Clara Eldy, who had lost her husband Bob in 1974. The two, for many years, led a Wednesday night prayer group in the church library. In his later years, when Willard wasn't leading tour groups around the world through Skagit Valley College, he also was in charge of the Senior High Fellowship Group here at Bethany Covenant. We will always remember Willard as a man of action. <music>